Welcome to the video series on Breaking Point. I am Stephen Duffy, Senior Systems Engineer here at Keysight. We will discuss how the modular format makes it easy to create security and application tests and assessments. Let's get started on showing you how to navigate through Breaking Point. With this navigation, you will learn how its modular format will make it easy for test modification and to manage your test environment. This screen is one of the first as you log in. Most of the time you'll just click on new session, but there are other useful features here as well. The REST API browser gives you an interactive capability to view and create automation scripts. The administration gives you the ability to update the software and manage the database. And the results give you the ability to access the configuration and the results of previous RAN tests. Now let's click on new session. On this page, there are three main parts to look at. The main one is create a test. This is the one that is gonna send you over to breaking point test configurator. The second one is labs. Labs give you easy to use scenarios to help expedite tests. These labs include RFC 2544, DDoS, and multicast. And the last part that you need to look at is software version and your last application and security updates. Okay, let's go ahead and click create a test. Breaking point test setup is modular to make test setup easy and dynamic. The modules is broken down into four parts. Network neighborhood is where you're gonna set up your IP address, VLAN, and other network configurations. Test components, which is separated by test types, include application, one-arm service, and security test. We break this up to make test setup quick as different types of tests require unique setups, flows, and even hardware configuration. Test criteria allows you to determine what is considered a pass-fail for the test. This allows you to set up user-defined criteria or use the predefined criteria. Device under test. For some advanced test capabilities, this allows you to load a script that will configure your DUT during the initialization state. This also allows you to verify that the DUT or SUT is in the proper state ahead of performing the test. You can also use it to create different scenarios to view how stress impact the DUT in different configurations. Now let's talk about how you can configure the physical ports on your test. Within this screen, you can accomplish several test configurations. The first one is choosing the ports for your test. You're just going to click on the ports. Now another part is, do you want to enable packet capture on your ports? If so, click down on packet export and verify that the checkbox is for enable packet captures. After the test, you'll come in here, click on export. Now you can export the packet capture as a whole, or you can do some filtering to help reduce the size of the packet capture. Now with this, you can also see how are your ports currently configured by clicking on port configuration. As you can see, I'm using 10 gig short range on both of these. Now let's click back. Now let's talk on how you can easily manage the application and security profiles. To do this, we use an easy to use system called managers. Within managers, we have four main segments to help reduce the time to create your profiles. These include strike lists. Strike list is where you build a list of attacks that you are specifically looking to test against. The next is superflow. This is a flow that can use multiple protocols to recreate how your application or service works. For example, on some web services, you could be using DNS, HTTPS with TLS 1.2 with multiple connections to different service for login, authentication, API pool, and queries. Another manager and the most common is the application profile. The application profile combines a mixture of superflows to create a bundle of traffic to recreate realism. These bundles can have traffic mixture ranging from social media to common data center protocols to your own unique flows. Now the last manager is called the capture manager. 
This allows you to manage your imported PCAP files. This also gives you metrics on your PCAP such as number of packets and flows, type of flows, and the time length. If you're interested in additional information, please reach out to jointhejourney at keysight.com. Thank you.